This is the sixth race in the KMR series, and this is called the Rockingham Chase. Uh, compared to last week's, this is on tarmac paths. It's an out and back course, well there's a slight little loop at the end of it, just on a bit of grass. It's 97% on tarmac. The first 500, 600 metres are downhill. Uh, I started a bit nearer the front this week because last week on the trail paths, they were very narrow and it took a mile or more to actually find places to pass people but uh, this one's much better just got to remember on this one set off not too fast because there is uh, after 600 meters there's a two kilometer uh, climb steep then level steep level a bit it's uh, but it's a long climb onto a little flat section before it drops down quickly to the lowest point of the run. Uh, probably only been going two or three hundred metres. Feel really good at this point. Just trying to set off at a steady pace. I think I went a little bit too fast but uh, it's downhill and I think uh, your pace just picks up because of that. In fact you can see on the little chart on the left how it's suddenly going to drop uh, downhill and then go up again. So we're now onto the steep downhill section. The camera doesn't really show hills very well, neither uphill or downhill. Uh, just letting my legs go as we go down here, uh, ready for the uh, uphill section. As we go over the little bridge that's coming up, this is the lowest point on the run. And when you come back, the advantage of it being an out and back, there's a long two kilometer downhill section. Uh, and then the hill coming back up that we've just come down now. So that's it, we're just at the lowest point, just going over the little bridge, very picturesque and again the camera doesn't show it but this bit is, is fairly steep that we're starting to go up now, just goes up to a corner, then we go to the left, oh, I still feel good, I tried to uh, not use too much energy up going fast down this bit of the hill, plenty of time for pushing hard on the way back. So now we've gone around the corner, it levels off a little bit but still uphill. Uh, you can sort of see on the camera a little bit but not very well. But it is a good uh, two kilometre climb. A little image on the left will change to the next section, there we go. You can see the climb from, uh, what is it, 150 to 300 metres, 150 metre climb. Still to go on this. And some of it is, is, is gradual incline and then there's occasional steep sections.
still feeling okay at this point, but I can see just in the distance as it curves to the right, there's another little steep section coming up. So I need to just save a little bit for that. Starting to feel tired now on this run. Uh, we're all slowing down. This guy on the left's going to stop if I remember. Uh, I've noticed that quite often on courses at Hilly. How many people stop and walk? Yeah, he stopped and walked. Tried to give him a bit of encouragement. I think we've all slowed our pace down going up this hill. It's just a case of trying to keep on going. Coming up to one little narrow section because it's, it's out and back. Luckily, the front runners are not coming back yet, but there's a little uh, cattle grid here. I'm told not to run across it, and we have to go to the left. We were also told at the start that this year the cows are in the field, but uh, I don't know if the camera will pick it up in a bit, but the cows weren't in the field and they all ran across maybe 150 metres in front, 200 metres in front of where I was, so it must have affected some other runners at the front. for our last bit going up the hill and I can just see the lead runner coming back in the other direction. Come past here he is, yeah. Absolutely flying. I do find the front runners make it look so easy to go fast but I'm sure they're trying just as hard if not harder than we are. 
It's almost at the top, it's another 50 metres. And you can see on the map on the left, there's just a little loop. That's a little bit that's on grass. That's it, over the highest point now. There's this little loop which has a little a slight, slight incline on it, but uh, then it'll be a nice two kilometer downhill section uh, back. We're just gonna go along here and turn right. You can just see them already running across the grass. The weather's not been too bad either, so the grass is pretty firm. Just having a quick look back there, see how close people are behind me. Just coming back over the grass, it's the slightest of incline up, but once we get back onto the tarmac path, it's then a nice two kilometre downhill, downhill stretch. really tired at this point but I know once we get on this tarmac uh, I sort of recover fairly quickly and then let my legs go pick up some pace on the return journey Thank you. obviously I've come all the way up the hill I'm really tired at this point but uh, because it's downhill it's surprising how quickly you can recover and then pick up your pace. The guy in the front's got a little bit away from me. Uh, I'll try and see if I can uh, pick up the pace. I was thinking at this point, try and, I just want to try and stay with him. I managed to stay with him up the hill. I want to see if I can uh, keep with him going, going back down now and back to the finish. <laughs> Coming back to the cattle grid, they say to give priority for us going in this direction, but there's nobody coming the other way, luckily, just because it's narrow and they didn't want to slow the uh, faster runners down. <coughs> but I think everyone's gone through now anyway, going in the other direction from what I can remember. The guy, not the one just in front, the second one that I was trying to keep with, he's got a little bit further away, but I'm sort of feeling quite good now and starting to just pick my pace up a little bit going down this hill. I also think I'm quite good going uphill, so I'm hoping on the hill up to the finish I can uh, 
push on and keep with him and hopefully pass him maybe. so much for hoping to catch him up he seems to be getting slightly further away at the moment I'd pick my pace up and he seems to have picked uh, his pace up as well but keep pushing on I'd had a quick look around the person behind me seems to be a fair distance behind me as well and I do like it when it's like that I don't feel the pressure of someone catching me up around this corner then the last little downhill bit to the lowest point on the course nice steep bit Thank you. really need to try and let my leg go on this bit see if I can get a bit closer I picked up a little bit on the last uh, downhill section uh, as I said I do find going up hills I think I'm sort of quite good on on hills going up them not so good going down unfortunately or not down steep hills Once we go over this little bridge just here, this is the low point. Very picturesque this. It'd be a lovely little house to live in. And yeah, definitely in that last bit I've made up a little bit of ground on the uh, guy in front. Once we go up this little steep bit, it's just a, there's a little flat bit and then a gradual, gradual long incline up to the uh, finish. I'm feeling pretty good at this point. I think I've recovered well on the downhill section, saved enough that I can push hard now to the finish. There's about 500 metres, maybe 600 metres maximum to go from here.
Yeah, definitely catching uh, the gap in front. There was just a bit of jump on the video there. Someone, a runner, had just uh, stopped at the side. Someone was just looking after them. I did check, and afterwards they were fine. I think it was just a case of the heat. It's very hot on this run this evening. I think they just struggled on that last bit. The uh, medics did come down to see them. Yeah, I feel like I'm definitely catching this guy now. I'm feeling good. Just see if I can uh, pass him before the finish. Quick look back to see if anyone's pushing on towards me. And there wasn't. Couldn't see anyone. Just on to a flat bit now before the last uh, uphill section to the finish. now as well to this guy so I can see the house or buildings on the left that's where the finish is just need to decide at what point uh, to push on maybe in the next few meters yeah pushing now and catch him up maybe only 50 70 meters to the finish you can't see on the camera but I can sense he's tried to pick up his pace as well to go with me but uh, I managed to get past him really pleased with that Finish in sight, push to the line. And that's it, the sixth race finished.